Connor Joe. He's out left attention. field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Now playing. So just about set now. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The center fielder, Jonathan Daza. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You won't want to throw that one again. The punch out there, one up, one down. Here's Garrett Hampson. The shortstop, Garrett Hampson. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Oh, and two as he oh, waves dude. at that one. That misses the zone. Now one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Next offering way off the plate. Now fly ball to right center. Buxton on the move. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Charlie Blackman. The designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. And the first offering is not close. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. Just completely fool on the breaking ball right there. Had no chance. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the first. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Leading off. The big lefty the turns, kicks, deals. The center fielder. And there's a ball. Byron. One ball. Buxton. There's the strike. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering upstairs. Two on pitches in there, and the count is even. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Here is Yohan Moncada. The second baseman. Go on. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Next offering is down low. One down, base is empty. Center field. Does it. Pulls that one down, and there's two away. Gior Shella steps in. Third baseman, number 15. Rip to third and caught. Back in Minnesota, now the left fielder, Sam Hillier. The left fielder. Ryan, back to work. Sam Hillier. That's off the mark, 1-0. The wind of the pitch. In for a strike, and the count is one and two. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's Brendan Rogers. Second baseman. Brendan Rogers. Smoked into left, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. 
He needed that one. It's been a that tough stretch at the plate lately. Right he got a pitch he could get to out. out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Alex Kirilov comes up empty with a swing there. Batting here with one away. That one missed. Playing 11. And now it's one and two. Got it. She's on. Here's Colton Welker to hit. The third baseman of the four. Colton Welker. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. And a count 2-1. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Benny Montgomery in the box now takes a cold strike. That's in there. And that's strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Bounce to the right side. Tosses the first. And that is that. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. The first baseman. In the air to left yeah. center. Does it. Drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. Here's Tommy Pham. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Tommy. In there oh, for strike one. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. Ryan McMahon, the, the next twin up to hit. Ryan. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that ball is gone. Ryan McMahon leaves the yard. His ninth homer of the year, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now it's the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Good power, not great. In the OBP department. Gary. Hit on the ground to the right side. He steps on the bag, and that is that. New inning getting started. So in now for Colorado, Dom Nunez. Leading off with a run. The catcher, number three. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. And ball one. Playing 11, 1-1. One, one. On the ground, Lewis collects it. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Yonathan Daza digging in for the Rockies. The center field, Yonathan Daza. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Next offering upstairs. Oh, 
He swings and fouls one off. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Sanchez gathers, throws out on the drop third strike, two gone. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Hampson. Next to hit, Garrett Hampson. On the ground to the left. Lewis gloves it on the run, sends it over to first. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Rockies. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Connor Joe. The line to kick the pitch. No left field. That one misses. Ball one. And here it comes. And it is two and one. Next pitch is outside. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swings through that. And it's a strikeout. One away. Here's Royce Lewis. Not shortstop. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. Now one and one. The next offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. That one in for a strike, two and two. Next one misses. Three and two down. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Two up, two down. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. The Here's Byron Buxton. Byron. Buxton. And that's in there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the Twins go 1-2-3. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. Here's Chuck Nasty. Ryan, back to work. That one missing low. On the corner for a strike. One one. Strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Next ball. offering is downstairs. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Next for Colorado, Sam Hilliard. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right-hander kicks deals. Stays alive. The 0-2. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts. Next to him for the Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan 
Roger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. To third. Urshela handles the chance. Whips it to first. Third out. Back at target field. Bottom four. And here is Yoan Moncada. Leading off for the twin. Next ball offering is down low. Yoan. And that's ball one. Moncada. Next offering is in for a strike. And a count one and two. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And one gone. Gio Urshela to the plate. Number 15. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering misses. And one and one. The wind of the pitch. And they're at the knees. One and two. Got him looking. And there are two down. Here's Miguel Sano. Number 22. Miguel. First offering misses the mark. One ball. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Now and back. now, right Tommy Fan. Tommy Fan. Ripped on a line. Does it. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Set for the start of the inning. Here's Alex Kirilov. The wind of the pitch. The right field. Alex just oh, missed. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. The one two. And no. this is inside. Good slider Good down ball. and in can be Good so ball. hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. So in now for Colorado, Colton Welker. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. That misses. And it's two and one. And the next pitch is way outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Now at the plate, Benny Montgomery. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball two.
in the dirt, blocked. Now a throw to first, but back easily. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. Chopped in the ground. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Time runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him and in the inning. And now it's Dom Nunez. In there for strike one. Next pitch is downstairs. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Next pitch is outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That'll load the bases. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. In there, and it's 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Sano to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. The batter now, Garrett Hampson. Now batter, the football, Garrett Hampson. Swings through that one, 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a pop-up. Val territory for the catcher. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ryan McMahon steps play. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Next offering way off the plate. Stays alive. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. And here comes the power hitting catcher. Gary Sanchez. Gary. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process. And if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Two two now. And down on strikes. Two gone now. So up next for Minnesota. Connor Joe. No left field. Connor. First offering misses badly for ball one. The next offering misses. Two and oh. Just missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. 
in the air right side that one hops against the fence throws to second and that's a two out double punched that one down the line for extra bases and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside got his bat on plane and just drove it. a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run and here is Royce Lewis that one's in there 0 and 1 next offering is in for a strike all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone squirts away a little bit no advance good job behind the dish the pitch and the one two misses to even the count Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. Here's Charlie Blackman. Ryan back to work. Ball one there. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. And a quick out number one. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside now collapsed back. a little bit. And the, the launch Hilliard. angle not Sam. where he needed it to be. Hilliard. And now Sam no. Hilliard. First no. offering misses the mark. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Righty delivers. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Three ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. And fouled off. Kicks and deals. Chopped out in front of the play, and he grabs it in foul ground. And there's ball four. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. First time up, he grounded to third. Next pitch is outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Hilliard, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Get out of here, Rocky. here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. On the ground, out to short. Lewis throws to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Yeah, Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch is popped up. Sano in position. He's got it, and that is out number three. Welcome back. Here's a big power threat. Byron Buxton leading off for the, and the pitch. Good, good eye right there. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The 2-1. No. 
in the air, pretty deep out to center field. Daza drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an Second outcome. Base. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Lifted in the air, right field. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. The lefty, the 1 0. Late with the swing there. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Now one fouled off. Two and two. And a pitch. Squibbed out in front of the throw. It's in and out of his glove, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to down get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Miguel. Next to hit, Miguel Sano. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. To the right side, and that one finds its way through. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 2 1. Well done, drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right here. Right nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Stepping in, Tommy yeah. Fan. And there's a foul ball. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Sano, the runner at first with two gone. Here's the 0 2. And now oh. 1 and 2. Play pro. One ball, two strikes. Come on, Trent. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Does it. Gliding to his right. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. New arm out of the bullpen, Emilio Pagan. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Emilio Pagan. Back in Minnesota, we go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Colton Welker. The first strike. No ball. Welker. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later no on when this game is over. No, really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now, Benny Montgomery. Yep. And that's in there for strike one. your base runner you've got to stay okay. dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get in the scoring position next pitch is popped up Sano under this one makes the grab one away Dom Nunez digging in for the Rockies worked to walk in his first trip to the plate in there for strike one
Next pitch is outside. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Next one misses. Two and two. One run game. One out. One on. Next pitch off the play. And that's ball three. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, mm. take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Joe makes his way towards it. Three balls, two strikes to count. Foul ball there. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. New pitcher on here. Jorge Alcala. And he'll work on holding this lead. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the team. Number 66. Jorge Alcala. So the batting order turns over. Yonathan Daza digging in for the Rockies. Has some trouble with it. Sano throws the first in time. Out number three. Back at target field, leading off Ryan McMahon. Leading off for the Twins. The and a pitch. Hitter, Ryan McMahon. McMahon tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. That one pushed foul. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. One and two to count. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Just off the outside edge. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Hampson on to first. One up, one down. Peter Lambert now will take over here. Hector. He's being Gary. eased into the game here with the bases in. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Gary Sanchez at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. That hits the dirt and a count two and one. Next offering is fouled back. And he dodges that fastball. Up the middle. Throws the first. Two up, two down. Connor Joe, the next twin up to hit. First offering, misses the mark. The next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Oh. The 
The 2-0 is in for a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eight. So in now for Colorado, Garrett Hansen. And a foul ball. Hansen. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Got him looking. And one out now. Next for the Rockies is the DH. Charlie Blackman. That hits the dirt, and it's 1-0. One, one ball, no strike. And a swing and a miss. Stays alive. And that one is lifted in the air. Joe moving under this one. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Dellin Batanzas. Out for the 30th time this year. So digging in, Sam Hilliard. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. The one one is upstairs, and it's two and one. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. You'll walk or just a base hit, but you've got to stay within yourself. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to the mound. Fires over to first. That's the third out. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Royce Lewis. Leading off. And the pitch. Three. Not shortstop. That one finds the corner. And that is strike one. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. So the lineup flips over. Byron Buxton digs in now. First pitch, not close. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. That one drifts inside. Rips one to right. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. You won. That one missed. One 
Foul ball. One out and a runner at second. This one high in the air to left center. Daza turns to the right on the move. Snags it on the run. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two balls. in there alone. Next Whoa. offering is way upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter even though he's behind in the count. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Taylor Rogers. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. We go to the ninth. So in now for Colorado, Alex Kirilov. Here comes a pitch. Ooh. Oh, that got him. And that'll put the tying run on base to start the inning. Now the pressure is already high, and now it's been cranked up to another level. Man, his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, dude. Let everything out. Now good. And now it's going to be Benny Montgomery. Oh. And that's in there for strike one. Misses. Now one and two. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch is inside. And the count's even at two. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. Now only one out remaining. Dom Nunez digging in for the Rockies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Ball with the sixth win in a row, all of a sudden. You start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi.